Okay, guys, uh, thank you for your patience. Once again, my name is Amar Nadim, and welcome to today's webinar by Royal Cyber. Today, we'll be talking about OMS, which is Sterling Order Management System, and how the use of the intelligence sourcing engine uh, determines the optimal location to reduce the fulfillment cost. Uh, once again, my name is Amar Nadim, and I'm your host today. I've been with the company for more than three years, and I have a business development executive uh, position in the company. Today, we have a great, great speaker with us. His name is Mr. Abhishek Zakaria. He has uh, 12 years of experience and has been working with Royal Cyber as an IBM Sterling OMS architect. He also has experience in solution design, development, validation, deployment, and he was involved in IBM Sterling OMS and WCS implementation of big brands across the globe. Now let us begin, uh, begin our presentation by moving on to slide number two. Today's agenda uh, for the webinar is, uh, we're gonna discuss briefly the Royal Cyber Incorporated profile, uh, the Royal Cyber e-commerce profile, IBM Sterling OMS overview, and why it's needed and what it does. Sterling OMS Intelligence Sourcing Engine, Royal Cyber Services, and some of the case studies that we have developed. And finally, we will have an open Q&A discussion. If you guys have any questions, you guys can uh, chat to us or send us your questions via email. Now, uh, Royal Cyber is a uh, modernized e-business solution provider specializing in software development, we are an IBM Premier Business Partner, an IBM Authorized Trainer, and Microsoft Certified Goal Partners. Uh, since our inception in 2002, our experts have been leaders in providing exceptional and award-winning services to organizations of different industry verticals all across the globe. We have our main headquarter in Chicago, Illinois, and we have a global footprint with offices and development centers across North America, Asia, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East region. Now, our strategic move of establishing an offshore center in Asia has helped us to reduce and provide high quality competitive rates to our valued clients without ever compromising over quality. Now, let's take a look at our Royal Cyber e-commerce profile. Now we have three different tabs. In the first tab, we have our service solution that we provide uh, for Web Zero Commerce. Uh, it includes omni-channel solution with uh, a point of sale systems, industry specific solution, B2B, B2C, uh, CPQ order management, uh, Sterling integrator and message broker, which is a really fascinating tool. Analytics uh, can help you deeply discover your e-commerce website, IBM Tea Leaf. And the quick start packages in the middle that we have that we offer for Fusion Commerce with quick start implementation such as WebSphere Commerce. And you can also include OMS, CRM, email management, configurator, uh, Salesforce, and mobile. And these are our um, prestigious uh, models that we have uh, for Fusion Commerce models, re uh, layout reward systems. And last but not the least, our leading clientele. Now, Royal Cyber has been demonstrated uh, its capabilities and expertise through quality enterprise solution uh, deployment with the following clients. Now, these are our clients. Uh, some of, uh, to name some of them are 360 Training, Kmart, Office Brands, uh, Folid, Higher Education, T-Mobile, Verizon, and such as. <clears throat> now, before we start, uh, let me hand over to Mr. Abhishek. Uh, Zakaria, who will be presenting the webinar on OMS. Mr. Zakaria? Yeah, thanks, Umar. Uh, hello, everyone. First, first uh, let me thank all the attendees uh, who joined this webinar besides your uh, busy schedule. Yeah, uh, as Umar said, uh, I'm working as a solution architect in Royal Cyber. I have more than eight years experience uh, working in IBM and total 12 years experience. So I was associated with uh, uh, Royal Cyber for last couple of years. I work mainly in big brands and in their Sterling order management implementation. Okay, so let's start. 
So quickly, I'll uh, give a brief overview of Sterling Auto Management System, and then we'll discuss about the intelligent sourcing engine of Sterling Auto Management System. So basically, we had a very simple supply chain uh, previously. We that in that supply chain, we have suppliers, manufacturer, distributor, retailer, customer. It's it's a plain simple supply chain. So this primary product will be flowing from the supplier end to the customer end. And the information flow will be from both sides, basically from both supplier end to the customer end and from customer end to the supplier end. And primary cash flow basically was flowing from customer side to the supplier side. And the reverse product will be flowing from opposite to the primary product flow. But this supply chain is now a history. So now this current supply chain industry is very, very complex. So we have N layers of suppliers, N layers of manufacturer, N layers of distributor. So we can see in the screen that there are N layers of suppliers, manufacturer, retailers, customer as well. Okay. So now the supply, this is not a chain. So it's now a network. So this is a very complex network. So this in this network, we have supplier, manufacturer, distributor, then retailer, customer as well. So we, we all we can say as a partner. So those uh, business houses who are using ERP and the legacy application faces a problem when trying to collaborate with the business partner. So often their application were developed to automate internal business processes. They basically, uh, they don't care about the others, the all the others partner. So this is like, as a result of this uh, decision, that the, they are facing some costly manual processes and develop custom application in effort to manage their extended supply chain. So the supply chain uh, statistics say that the more than 60% of the operational cost can be impacted by the decision of the outside the four wall of the company. So basically, uh, uh, the company can be impacted by the by the by, by their partner decision. Okay. So we need a foolproof order management system, right? So this order management system uh, solution would be uh, that, that would provide a solution to this complex business needs. So if we say the complexity, if we say in one sentence, we summarize the business needs, needs of today's complex supply chain industry, then it would be we have to ensure the right inventory is available when our customer want it. Okay, no matter what the cust what channels they use it to reach us. So this is the one line of today's business scenario. Okay, so this is the one line we can say the complexity of the today's business scenario. So now the solution of this Evo business problem is like uh, we need some order management system, best breed order management system. So IBM Sterling order management system is one of the best breed order management system. So this uh, Sterling order management system popularly known as, uh, IBM Sterling order management system is popularly known as uh, Sterling OMS. So this, uh, so what this Sterling order management system is, so what it does, so I'll quickly uh, give a brief overview of this uh, Sterling order management system. So this robust functionality of OMS can be utilized across multiple selling channels. So we have uh, like call center, we have dot com stores, then we have field sales, then we have store as well. So basically, we can like uh, determine the orders, statuses, check inventory, then availability across location, and manage the return process through this Sterling order management system. So if we go to the next slide, we can see it's a uh, IBM Sterling order management system is a IBM Commerce family, part of the IBM Commerce family. So in this IBM Commerce family, we have it's. There are three platform, customer interaction platform, then the order orchestration platform, then the supply chain platform. So in this order, uh, customer interaction platform, we have WC, WebSphere Commerce. So it is one of the popular uh, front end ERP, uh, which IBM provided. And then the CPQ, Sterling, uh, 
configure price and quote. Then we have campaign management. So for com campaign management, one of the popular product IBM provided is Unica. Then the marketing analytics. So for marketing analytics, uh, IBM provided uh, uh, Watson analytics, then the call center, then store, web, field sales, mobile and kiosk. So if we go to uh, the Sterling call center, basically Sterling call center is like it's a task based and a role based user interface. So where the CSR can like modify order, they can enter orders details and they can like uh, determine the statuses, then the inventory availability, then the initiate return processes. So this is like Sterling call center. Then the Sterling store, where Sterling store will be used. So Sterling store is like the order capture and the fulfillment process in multi-store environment. So we can use Sterling store in multi-store multi environment. Then field sales. So field sales represent to man is like uh, the the sterling fields field people field sales people will be using this one of the popular uh, IBM provided solution is sterling field sales so in sterling field sales is like code creation we can create order then it's it's a, it's a web application where the sales representative use the user interface to create code, then the create order and order uh, and move this order from one statuses to other statuses. Then we have mobile and the kiosk as well. Then moving moving forward, this order orchestration. So order orchestration is like the we have Sterling order management system. Then the supply chain platform, we have TMS, transport system, then the WMS, warehouse management system, then the SCB supply collaboration vertical, and the supply supplier portal. So all are in supplier chain platform. So all these things would be like B2B integration with the suppliers, carriers, and the third party 3PL, third party logistics, and the freight forwarders. So basically, integration will happen with all the systems, supply chain platform systems, and supplier, carrier, and the third party uh, logistics systems via this B2B integration. Now, going forward, so what Sterling order management system does? So basically, it improves the order visibility by generating a single view of world virtually all supply and demand across multiple systems. So basically, Sterling order management system provide a improved order visibility. We have like uh, all the uh, supply and demand we can see from a virtually all supply and demand across multiple systems, whether it is your system and your partner. It's like throughout the system, you can see the supply and demand picture. It reduces cost. Okay, so reduces cost by improving the inventory utilization. Okay, so basically that is done by this intelligent sourcing engine. So that we are going to discuss that reduce cost. Then the in increases customer satisfaction. So obviously, so improve order visibility, then the reduce cost will automatically increase the customer satisfaction. So this is, uh, we are saying the enterprise customer as well as Sterling IBM Sterling order management system customer. So both the customers. So those who are using Sterling order management system and the end user, both are satisfied by using the Sterling order management system. Okay, so now let's start the intelligent sourcing engine of Sterling order management system. So basically what is this sourcing? So sourcing is the process of determining from which physical location or from which supplier a product should be shipped. Okay, so basically if suppose a customer place an order and there are like, uh, there are like, there are like 20 stores available in, in that, enter for that enterprise, then the, the, your order management system will decide which store will fulfill that order. So this is like, that 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 concept is called sourcing okay so in most in most simple case scenarios when uh, uh, it is like uh, we have only one distribution center suppose uh, i'm going to consider only one distribution center 
Okay, in that case, we know that the shipping node, right? So there will be no logic associated to determine that node. So in such cases, you can pre-specify the uh, shipping node in that in query function or the specify it on the order line. Basically, the let's say one customer, one enterprise has only one store or one warehouse. So there is there will be no logic to decide. Which node will fulfill the order? So obviously, that the only node which the customer has, whose the enterprise has, that that node is going to fulfill the order. So no need of sourcing configuration in that case, right? So suppose we we have multiple stores, we have n numbers of stores and n numbers of warehouses. Then we need a very intelligent sourcing engine to determine which uh, node or which order management or which warehouse will fulfill that order. So Sterling order management system has such type of very intelligent sourcing engine which is runtime it will decide which uh, node or which warehouse it is going to use for order fulfillment. So, so in this uh, selection criteria we have few main decision making points okay so what product is being shipped okay so basically it depends on the ordered item okay so let's say one person ordered some uh, let's say item A so in some business scenario some specific product would be available only in some specific warehouses or store so let's say item A is available only in uh, store A and store uh, 5, store 1 and store 5. So in that case, that uh, the sourcing engine will uh, fulfill that order from store 1 and store 5. And when deciding the store 1 and store 5, lot of parameter it will calculate it. The algorithm will use lot of parameter. Okay. So in that case, that item would be shipped to the customer address from that specific location. Okay. So next point is ship to address. So basically, typically business wants to ship out of the closest shipping location. But here there is some catch. Okay, so uh, from business point of view, uh, it is uh, it is like uh, suppose some or uh, somebody place an order, and it is uh, from the enterprise beneficial point of view. It is if suppose that order will be fulfilled from the nearest store then the transportation cost and the handling cost will be less right so that is like ship to location would be closest but this is not always right because it's depend on ge uh, some uh, geopolitical requirements also so let's example uh, suppose an order is placed in south part of texas so el peso city so in that case, the business wants to fulfill the order from distribution center located in United States, right? Even though the Mexican distribution center is closer, but it's like the Mexican that to avoid the cross country complexity, the system wants to fulfill the order from the distribution center, which are located in US, not in Mexico. Then moving forward, the next point is product availability. So a product availability is like a warehouse may or may not have inventory for a given item. So however, in some business cases, a manufacturer like uh, may want to always assume that any demand can be fulfilled using existing raw material at, at the node. Okay, so it's like suppose uh, uh, in finite inventory so product availability in some cases like manufacturer will consider infinite inventory in that case it will not go for the uh, sourcing uh, engine algorithm okay so product availability is basically the it will check the inventory is available in that warehouse in that store or not if the inventory is available then it will do all the like parameter check and all then it will do the fulfillment. Then the last but not the least is the number of shipment required. Okay, so what is this number of shipment required? So number of shipment required is like, uh, let's say, 
it's, it's like to minimize the transportation costs and handling costs associated with the entire shipment. Order is placed for three items and uh, let's say the fulfillment node A has all the three and another fulfillment node, let's say node B has two items only. So in this case, in this business scenario, uh, the uh, node A will be fulfilled the order because it carries the three items, right? So it carries all the three items. If suppose in this case, suppose the order, the order management system decided to fulfill the order from, let's say, or node B. In that case, it has to uh, fulfill via two shipment. So the cost of the shipment and handling, the transportation cost and handling cost would be uh, uh, bigger than that uh, when it choose node A, right? So. Just to minimize the transportation cost and the handling cost, the number of shipment, the calculation of number of shipment is also one of the most, you know, one of the important decision making points uh, while choosing the sourcing, uh, while choosing the fulfillment node. Okay, so these are the few points only, uh, uh, like uh, few ma main points main decision making points for choosing for that uh, intelligent sourcing engine to choose which fulfillment node it is going to use for fulfill the order. Now, so intelligent sourcing engine of Sterling order management system. So it, this is like inventory summary. So we can see this inventory console in our demo. We are going to show the inventory console in our demo where we can see the inventory visibility across all the all the nodes whether it is uh, whether it is your node or your partner node you can see a consolidated view of inventory summary so you can see the warehouse specific inventory as well on hand inventory then the held inventory the inventory statuses as well so if you see the uh, left side of the screen you can see the supply and if you see the right side there is a column called demand so you can like the supply and demand picture in a consolidated way and then you can see the warehouse specific inventory quantity also so in in this screen we can see warehouse 1 and warehouse 2 has inventory of 1000 and 6000 so we can see a consolidated view of all the inventory available in Sterling Auto Management System in this inventory summary or inventory console base in a con console screen. Okay, so now we are going to show you two test, uh, three use, use cases. So the first use case is if the customer ship to address, that means the zip code, that means the postal code is same as any of the fulfillment node address then where uh, uh, fulfillment node where the inventory is available so this is the uh, this is the outline of the use case so the customer place an order so somebody place an order and that order is the the, the ship to address the postal code of the ship to address is same as the fulfillment node address and in that fulfillment node the inventory is available in that case how what your sterling sourcing engine will decide so uh, we have created one uh, demo instance for this webinar session and we install sterling order management system in that instance and we 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 created a demo enterprise aurora corporation for this webinar session. So let me go to that remote machine. So we have API tester to create the order. So API tester is like uh, useful in the development uh, uh, phase of Sterling order management system. So let me create a order. So going, uh, before going to create the order, I want to show you that the warehouse one, the zip code is 2302 and uh, near to this warehouse, we have configured this, 
this four postal code and in warehouse 2 the zip code is 94105 and near to this warehouse we we configure couple of postal code and in warehouse 2 we uh, warehouse 3 the zip code is 32244 and this is the warehouse details so let me first uh, place an order with zip code 94105 so this is this zip code 94105 so so if we place this order create a create order xml and post it in that api tester it will create the order in your order management system sterling order management system so I just post this order XML in order API tester and it created an order in Sterling order management system. So let me go to the Sterling order management system to check the order details. So this is the Sterling order management system. So I want to check the uh, order console. Okay, so let me log in. So in this screen, order console, I just put the order number. So it will give me uh, the order details screen. So I can see hold this place in this order. So let me resolve this whole so that we can float, we can process this order. So I'm just resolving this whole. Yeah, now the order is, uh, there is no hole on this order. So now let me authorize the payment so that we can, we can move to the, we can schedule this order. So I'm just authorizing this payment. So now your order is, uh, the uh, order, the payment is uh, authorized. So now you can schedule your order. So when you go for this uh, schedule, it will call the schedule engine. So it will call the sourcing and scheduling engine of Sterling order management system. And it will, it will basically, it will, uh, to, it will uh, decide which fulfillment node it is going to uh, used to fulfill this order. So if I schedule this order, so order should be moved to schedule status. So now this order is in schedule status. So now if you see the status of this order, it is in schedule status. So now let me, so now let me check from the API tester which fulfillment node it stamp in this order. So if you go to the orders uh, again to the API tester, so let me put my order here. So get order details. So it will give you the order details of this order. So now if we search the ship node, what it stamp in this order, you can see warehouse two. So this is the warehouse two, right? So the zip code was 94105 and the, the zip code for the store warehouse two is also 94105. So it picks warehouse two as part of the sourcing, uh, sterling sourcing engine decision. So now, 
this is the first use cases now let me go to the second use cases so in this use case basically what we are going to do is like if customer sh ship to address the customer postal code is close to any of the fulfillment note address so that means the customer place an order uh, from a postal code which is uh, in that postal code there is no store there is no warehouse but some store or warehouse is available near to that postal code right and inventory is available in that store so in this scenario how your sterling order management system sourcing engine will be act so if you go to the so let me create an let me create another order with zip code 94105 so as we know that the warehouse 2 zip code is 94105 but i am going to put zip code as 94103 so let me place this order Yeah, so this order got created. So if we if we check the order details screen again, if we go to the order order console and check the order details screen for that order. So you can see the order got created in uh, sterling order management system so let me uh, resolve the hole again so I am just resolving the hole so that we can process this order Let me authorize the payment. So now the order is out of hole and the payment is also authorized. So now we can move this order from schedule status. So now when we click this schedule, so your Sterling Intelligent Sourcing Engine will work and it will decide which fulfillment node it is going to uh, use for fulfilling this order. But as we say, that inventory that uh, the postal code what we are using to create the order is 94103 which is close to 94105 uh, for warehouse 2 so uh, it should uh, it should stamp 94105 as 94105 as in warehouse 2 the inventory is available so so let us check the what this uh, fulfillment what this uh, sterling sourcing engine will stamp the fulfillment note so i just schedule the order so now the order is in schedule status so now if we go to the order details screen via this api tester So if I search the ship node, ship node means the the full the the fulfillment node which Sterling's uh, sourcing engine will stamp in this order details. 
so it is warehouse 2 that means the this where though this warehouse 2 postal code and the order uh, ship to address is not same but it finds it is close to this warehouse 2 so it decide it decided warehouse 2 will use to fulfill this order so this is the use case 2 so now going to the use case 3 so this use case 3 what we are going to show is like if the customer postal code is same as any of the fulfillment note address so let's say one customer place an order uh, with um, some, uh, place an order from a place where the in, where the store or warehouse is available but inventory is not available in that store or warehouse so let's say uh, i place an order of 10 laptops okay but this 10 laptop is not available is not available the 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 store which is close to my ship to address which is close to my postal code so in that case what your sterling sourcing engine will do so so let me show this use case Yeah, before going to this, uh, showing to this uh, use case, I want to show the inventory picture. So if we go to the inventory console, we can see the consolidated inventory uh, picture of uh, available in that uh, Aurora Corporation. So what we want to see the the item ID the, the, uh, CDE021 underscore 210301. So this item ID, we want to check the inventory picture. The product class is good and unit of measurement is each. So let me search this item ID. So we can see the view details. So we can see the inventory summary page here. So if we check the consider all note and all inventory and click go, So it will it will give you the whole inventory picture for all the warehouses and all the stores. So if you see the supply is 8300, 8300 and the demand is 221. So if we check the on hand inventory, if we click the quantity on hand, then it will give you the picture of uh, in which store how much quantity is available so here you can see that the, this item is available in store 1 200 in store 2 it's available 1000 then warehouse 1 it's available 1000 and warehouse 2 it's available 6000 so this item is not available in store 3 so what I am going to use the postal code of warehouse 3 basically I am going to place an order with the same postal code, code of warehouse tree but this item is not available in warehouse tree so in that case what your sterling order management system will do so let me place this order so this is the, the this is the order order which zip code 32244 so this is the zip code of warehouse tree so I'm going to place this order. So this order got created in our Sterling order management system. So if we go to Sterling console and check the order, go to the order console and put the order number and check the order detail screen, then we can see the order detail screen of this order. So we can uh, see the whole is here so let me just resolve this whole
yeah let me authorize the payment also so that we can schedule this order So now this order is free to move. Okay. So now this order is like hold this uh, uh, resolve and the payment is authorized. So now we can process this order. So if we go for the schedule, schedule this order and we just click OK, then the order is scheduled. Now the order is in schedule status. Okay, so now if we go to the order details screen, yeah, we know that the order is, uh, the, the ship to address is 32244, so which is uh, near to warehouse 3, okay, but warehouse 3 doesn't carry the inventory uh, of this item. So if we go and check the order details of that order, So if we call the get order details API, so it will give you the order details for that order. So if we check the ship node, which the Sterling sourcing and scheduling engine stamp in this order, we can see here warehouse one. So though warehouse three is not available, uh, warehouse three is close to the ship to address, it is not stamping warehouse three because the warehouse tree doesn't contain that inventory. So why this it it, it stamp warehouse one? Because warehouse one is on high priority than the warehouse two. That's why it stamp warehouse one. So this is the use case of uh, the third use case. So basically, uh, if the customer ship to address and the uh, customer ship to address is same as any of the fulfillment node address, but the inventory is not available. In that case, Sterling Intelligent Sourcing Engine, what Sterling Intelligent Sourcing Engine will do? So basically, Sterling Sourcing in Engine will decide which node has higher priority, okay, and uh, and close and closer to that ship address, okay. So. So all these things will, uh, all these things is like intelligent sourcing engine will do for Sterling or in Sterling order management system. So basically, uh, if we summarize this Sterling order management system sourcing engine, then we can say that the, we can order from anywhere and the sourcing and scheduling order basically sourcing and scheduling order intelligently and globally. Basically the Sterling sourcing engine is so intelligent that it will basically globally it, it will be fulfill the order. So uh, guys you have any uh, question or any, uh, any anything you want to add and all? Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Abhishek. Uh, I believe we'll take questions. Uh, let's see if anyone has a question. They can either um, send us on the chat window, look at it on the right side of the screen, or you guys can email us at info at royalcyber.com. <clears throat> uh, let's take a look at some of our prestigious clients uh, as working in the industry for e-commerce and Portal and Rational for IBM. Uh, some of our clients uh, involve uh, Abercrombie and Finch, uh, Baymall, Follett, uh, Wacker Nuisance, and uh, a whole bunch of clientele lists that we have generated uh, uh, since our, you know, inauguration uh, and inception in 2002. Uh, next, uh, we have our uh, global footprints uh, throughout um, throughout the globe. Uh, we have offices located uh, in 
headquarters in North America, um, also in Middle East and Africa, and uh, uh, New Zealand and Africa. Uh, some of them offices are located in Australia, India, uh, Pakistan, um, and in a whole bunch of countries, especially in the KSA region. Now, uh, talking about our offices, we have uh, done a bunch of implementation in the e-commerce uh, department as well as Portal and Rational, and we have received a whole bunch of awards, uh, such as uh, uh, we have gotten the Smarter Commerce Cell Award for 2013, also the IBM Business Partner Award uh, for the Beacon finalist in 2013, and our Mobile Innovation Award. We have an excellent mobile department and we can implement on uh, mobile applications uh, which is uh, the leading technology um, in today's world. <clears throat> We're also partners with SAP and uh, Microsoft Goal Certified Partners and Oracle Expertise as well. Now once again if you guys have any questions and answers uh, regarding the presentation that we just gave you on OMS uh, you guys can uh, either chat with us uh, located on the right side of the screen if you guys want to do that. If not, you can just basically send us an email at info at royalcyber.com. Uh, if you're looking for some technical guidance or some consulting, you can email us at support at royalcyber.com. And if you're interested in accounts and billings, uh, you can email us at billings at royalcyber.com. Uh, once again, uh, my name is Amar Nadim, and I'm a business development executive at Royal Cyber. And we had today Mr. Abhishek Zakaria, uh, who is the leading architect of OMS. And this has been a webinar by Royal Cyber. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.